back to Metopia. Been a while. Been a while. It's always been a while. Mm. We tend to in take a little while between streams. In Started Odyssey. Time. Yeah. And uh, Started we also... Something else, too, didn't we? Started Jack and oh, Daxter. Yeah. And then uh, that's going. We try to keep the number of long RPG games going simultaneously to a minimum. Because it takes so long, and then we don't want to start too many new things, so it just... Uh... We got this, and... Uh... Talking about starting Zelda soon. Yes, Twilight Princess, which is going to be an interesting time. One of us is going to... I think you are. We'll see. I, I won't mind if you do. I'm going to have to do Skyward Sword because I have the Wii, the Dolphin Bar and everything. Yeah. We'll see. But Fortune. today, Utopia. Yeah. Utopia. The return. With... So we had... So far, we've had a bunch of Slayers characters. We've had yes. some anime stuff, and now... What do we do? We, we, get, we added Princess Judy, right? Yep. Pick well-designed me's that you like. Uh, uh, like the guy on the uh, on the bottom with the glasses. Bruce? Bruce, is that what his name is? Bruce? That's what it says. He just kind of looks like a dude. Sarah looks very vaguely like Ashy, but not not really. Ashy, the Samurai Jack. Oh yeah, that's right. DJ that Octavio act. was not, in fact, an octopus, so I don't know what that was going on. I thought her name was just Ash. No, it was it was Ashy. A S H I. Not Who Ash, looks the most yeah. intelligent? Uh. That looks like a smart creamsicle. No, I don't know. Purple is purple. No, it's, uh, um, more. Purple. purple is my favorite flavor of drink. <laughs> That's what I saw. It was just, it says, just said purple as a drink. I don't know who made that drink, but... It's not grape flavored, it's purple flavored. Because it doesn't taste like grape, it tastes like sugar, and it looks like it's purple. Yeah. So, That's we left off works. in the realm of the Fae, is where we're at. Yes. I really hope we don't have to see that goddamn turkey again. How to make a Mountain Dew drink. Gamer drink? What? What? Uh, Wait, I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm posting in the in the me forums, the, the, the me discords, and someone posted that. Someone found out how to make bootleg Mountain Dew? How to make gamer drink. It was like a Mountain Dew mixture or something. What's our roulette wheel today? Is it crap? Lace fan, luxury, oh, a good royal EXP. portion of EXP. The only bad thing is the MP candy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna separate some people, and then I'm gonna go for that. Okay, I think Zelrog is on his own. Hello, Darian. Oh, hey, Darian. Okay. Excited for tomorrow, Darian. Utopia is it's it's RPG length, yes. It is very Get us a fan. Long. A lace fan. Du, 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 du. So who can't equip it? Oh, I guess Judy can. It's the princess weapon. Looking good. <laughs> if we get another one, we just sell it. it. Should be decent money. Yeah. Get royal exp. Royal EXP! Everybody levels up. Uh. Who gets it? Oh, that's right, They're we got Corrin the cat. Yes. What is Corrin's class? The cat. Oh, yeah, literally cat. I got it. I remember. I'm literally a tank. Princess, tank, and. Does that mean that. At some point, Zellard can go back to his original class of being a, being a priest. Uh -oh. oh, god damn it. Uh, yes, I will eventually be able to choose from any of the classes that I have been. You will become a... You'll, and you'll probably be... Yeah, because healing is necessary. And... It'll be good to balance out the party, like, knowing what they all do. Have a damage dealer, have a healer. Yeah. Someone for, uh... 
More EXP. Someone for area damage. Up. Little farmer cat. Where's your ears, Corrin? <laughs> Inflict damage to an enemy with a slashing attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, cat, the, the claws. You know. Go one more. It's so rare we get a half decent wheel. This is gonna be MP candy again. God no damn MP it. candy. Oh. Okay. That's a sign to stop. Got EXP. That's. But good, we will surely won't get it again. We're due for something else. <laughs> That's chaos, baby. You want a peasant gown? How is that an upgrade? Because the other dress is just cheap. Peasant gown is made of softer stuff. Okay. Can we at least make it look good? Eh, you got purple or white. <laughs> oh, we have no food. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Lena would kick your ass if you had no food. I need to uh, I need to put uh, Zelrog and Judy together. They have no relationship, and I think I have a negative relationship with Corrin. I think I fired yeah. him out of my tank. Yeah, he didn't like that. He's like, hey, what are you doing? So we got adventurer Snoop Dogg. No, that's not Snoop. That's Will Smith. Yeah. Will Smith. Black suit's coming. Uh, you're being attacked by balloons. I sure am. Oh, that's right. We have the fairy sister with us. Who does stuff. There's more of a use than that than that asshole prince. Yeah. This liquid smells rather lovely. <laughs> Should I drink some? Should I just go for it? D do it. See what it's honey, isn't it? Or it's... Oh hey, it's you! I'm Will Smith, your friendly neighborhood explorer. <laughs> it's just it's like unlike uh, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures, Will Smith Adventures. Yeah. He's it's an archaeologist. Jane. Him and Jaden just, uh. Jaden, Jaden. Jaden, Jaden. <laughs> I get it! <laughs> yeah, I can see the names even match. You got Jaden Smith, you got. I think Will Smith was in the was in the news recently, something about an affair. Oh, yeah. I gotta look that up. I wanna, I'm gonna so, look it up now. I'm gonna see what, what he did. So that show would have, like, a, a, a cool, wizened black uncle, right? Yeah. They would have, uh... Oh, hey! Oh. Someone help! Oh, no. So if Chewie's in trouble, she can get someone else to... She can get someone to dodge for her. That's just the power of a princess. Wait, I thought they were on bad terms. Why are they showing off for each other? Oh no, he's. I thought he's mad at uh, Zelrog. Yeah. Easy. Pull up inside extra thick armor, reducing damage taken. Oh, so it's just, it's passive. You just get more defense. In my cardboard tank. Fluffy omelet. Wait, what? <laughs> the te the headline is uh, August Alcina claims Will Smith sanctioned affair with Jada Plinkett Smith. Claims sanctioned affair. Oh, his wife. Jada is his wife. But Will Smith apparently gave the relationship his blessing. Okay. Did Will Smith NTR himself? Hey, 
I'm sorry for firing you out of a tank. Do you promise it won't happen again? Let's not get crazy now. Go away. Go away. Okay. They're, they're I want to be friends again, too. You pretty kitty. Okay, but where's his ears? They just... They, he folds them. Well, it's supposed to be part of the equipment, and he just keeps taking them off for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, is because... Oh, we don't need an MP candy. Oh, wait, what was the big thing? Devil's Food uh, Cake. Eh. Devil's Food Cake Plus Plus. Yeah, but you're running out of tickets, so you might as well just not do it. Uh, who needs MP? Probably the princess. Yeah. You like spiders, right, Corin? No? I don't like spiders. They're disgusting. Oh, nice fluffy omelet. Oh, that was a that was a thing too. Was yeah, it like cloud it, candy. It? it blends in. Fluffy marshmallows. He loves marshmallows. Oh boy. Yeah. It's like clouds. Should be due for another member soon. Yeah, who will we recruit? Uh, well, we decided our next one was going to be a flower. And, uh, I, I think we settled on Kuroshi. Yep, Kuroshi the flower. I'm just... I have to Kuroshi. be better than Zelrog. This is Citrus Cave. It looks delicious! Wait. Don't. That's not mud. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, like, old school memes. Judy Is laps it? up the mystery liquid. Turned into a monster. So you shouldn't have done it. Nani? Back to normal. Boo! Hey, what's up, boo? I wonder what Haruhi likes. Espers, aliens, and time and travelers. Time travelers. My favorite part is like you, you're introduced to an alien. She's like, I'm an alien. No way, way. You're introduced to a time travel traveler. She's like, all the information's confidential. I can't tell you anything about the future. And then uh, and you're introduced to an Esper. He's like, hi, I'm an Esper. Hey, what's an Esper? I don't know. I don't do anything oh. most of the time. Only it's when the awful. stars align do my powers mean fuck all. <laughs> yep. And you don't expect to ever see any of it in the series after the one arc. Yeah. All in all, the Harari Suzumiya is the series is just It's a not wasted a lot opportunity, happens. no. Yeah. People liked it because it had some promise and then there's just nuts there's is never again. I'm sure people like it because of the characters or something. It's still very popular. It's just strange to me that it is as popular as it is when they introduce all the cool stuff and then don't do anything with it. Yeah, it's like if they if they did Slayers and then didn't have a storyline or any magic involvement and it was just a series about Gowrie and Lena living in an apartment together. That'd be. That'd be a very boring series to me. Just... Hopefully we see something. Other... What? It'd be like if you're watching Twin Peaks and you, you stripped out the murder and the, uh, and all the magical elements. It's like if, if Twin Peaks was like, directed by anybody else but David Lynch. Yeah. What if Earthbound was just about being a kid and you didn't actually use your psychic powers to fight monsters at all? I'm sure some people like that. Not me, though. 
Hopefully we see something about those three Mario remasters in the upcoming Direct. Don't get your hopes up. There, there was I, no... There's nothing to substantiate any such rumors, so... Oh, we've attained a gift of divine power. Better HP sprinkles. Or more HP sprinkles. Outlandish cat suit. Uh, it's Outlandish. A, it's a baby jumper with magical girl sparkles. I'm a pretty baby. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we already talked about it. The uh, Japanese Spider-Man, so I don't want to go back down that road. Oh, well, we talked about it on the Discord, not on stream. Oh, uh, yeah. Of, uh, the various spider man It started with, uh... The you conversation started with Italian Spider-Man. Yeah, Italian Spider-Man. And then well, you're like... Well, you showed me a video of a guy who was looking for the Italian theme to the Spider-Man cartoon. Not well, to be no, confused with the movie Italian Spider-Man. Yes. He was eventually looking for the Italian theme to Ursi Itzer. That was what the video was about. Yeah. The Italian Ursi Itzer theme. But yeah, you were talking about Italian Spider-Man. And then you were talking about Turkish Spider-Man and... And I mentioned that Turkish Spider-Man was a villain. Yes, he was the movie. villain of the movie, Turkish Spider-Man. And the hero of the movie was Turkish Captain America. <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> and so Italian Spider-Man looked looked like look you said that he was low but he was from a low budget porno. He looked like whereas... he was from a Spider-Man porno. Because the still frame was a kind of thick dude with a mustache surrounded by women. Yes. Which is the most Italian thing in the world. It, it, that's the most Italian screenshot I could find. And uh, Turkish Spider-Man looked like he was from a no-budget uh, wrestling promotion. Yes. Because it was how he was dressed. It looked like an awful luchador costume. Yes. So then I'm like, I'm like okay, but is there a Japanese Spider-Man? And I looked it up, and oh boy, was there. And you found out he was like a, he was a Sentai character. He was a Sentai character before Power Rangers was a thing. He had all the Power Rangers stuff before before Power Rangers even came up with it. He had the poses, he had the the, the catchphrase, he had a vehicle. A transforming yeah. vehicle. So you know how, how American Spider-Man's uh, catchphrase is, Oh, I'm just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but Japanese Spider-Man, he's like, if people are like, who are you? And he's like, an emissary from hell, Spider-Man! In the name of hell, I'll punish you. It's great. And so there is... So this Spider-Man is... His transformation sequence is that he put, he presses a button on his, uh, his wrist, like, watch. His gigantic wrist armband, like, Ben 10 style. Yeah. Like, thing. And then his, the suit pops out, it flies in front of him, he zips it up, and that's the transformation sequence. It's, it's very elegant. Um, God. He's got a giant robot. He, he has a car. Just all the sp I, all the Power Ranger tropes, but Spider-Man. Yeah. He also looked the best of the three. Yes. He looked, he looked the most like, like Spider-Man. He, he was the most high quality. And it wasn't even a knockoff. I thought it was a knockoff, but apparently uh, it was a licensing deal between, like, Marvel and Toei. And, and Toei... And Toei, we were like going to make it originally a straight laced uh, adaptation, but uh, but but then executives were like, no, we got to throw in like giant robots and stuff. That's what the kids like. And then Stan Lee looked at the the finished product, and he loved it. He's like, this is awesome. It's just like what I thought Spider Man would be in Japan. <laughs> My favorite uh, scene from what little I saw of the show was when apparently this band was singing like this spider-man thing and it was affecting him negatively so he got in his car he drove to where they were and he starts shooting them with the gun the guns in the car turns out they were robots so it was okay spider-man this hey, not an emissary from hell not to be confused with the actual marvel character who is a girl who takes the persona of spider-man in japan oh Pen uh, penny parker right Penny Parker, yeah. The, uh, and she has a the, robot. She, she, yeah, her, she's psychically linked to a spider robot. Like, imagine... 
Like, imagine if a person could control a Tachikoma with with their mind, and you got Penny Parker. Wasn't that an episode of Ghost in the Shell where a guy, like, took over a spider tank? And yeah, went to that... his parents' house? Yeah, to kill them or something. Like, I'm gonna get... You didn't want me to live with the cyber brain, well look at me now! Or something, something like that. Hopefully, Kuroshi likes spider rolls, because no one else on the party will eat them. He doesn't like sushi. That's gonna be, like, the... the... We are acquainted. Do I? No, I'm good. Only 30 minutes and then Phil says, Hey, you wanna stop? You've been playing for a long time. You sure you don't want to stop? Did I tell you about this one time the kids made a cult on my bus? What a moving story! <laughs> oh, uh... So, um... I, uh... I, I'm, I'm getting into chaos magic. Okay. Like real-life magic. Um, well... It's not like, like, real-life incantations or summoning demons and shit, but rather it's like a mental philosophy and equating magic with, uh, mental systems and stuff. It's very fascinating stuff. Reading it's like, oh man, why, why haven't I discovered this sooner? This is right up my alley. I want to fire teddy bears. Yeah, you shoot teddy bears. <laughs> God damn it, me! <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a sweet tooth, actually. You have enough money? You can try Oh no, he doesn't want to go shopping again. A generous helping. Protractor fan. Alright. Protractor fan? How does that work? Well, it's presumably a mathematical protractor. Oh. Okay. Okay. Received a generous helping. Oh, whoops. It's probably shorter than a royal portion, though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's not that good. I'll take the fan or the tickets, though. Watch it be another MP candy. I don't know. We're gonna get one of the two. Jolly John. All right. So we won't give him to Corin because he's in a room by himself. Yes. And he can't use it. He's gonna be all sad. Oh. In a continuity without Yajirobe. They killed Yajirobe. I was never able to forgive it. The next five Smash characters are Toon Ganon, Twilight Princess Ganon, Hyrule Warriors Ganon, Oracle Ganon, and CDI Ganon. <laughs> but that doesn't even include Pig Ganon. I guess he's the would... CDI Ganon. Toon Ganon would be would be good. I Wasn't like Oracle G Oracle Ganon didn't exist? He was the one who had the the mage robe that never got used, right? I think so. I think you're right. I would like uh, Pig Ganon as a character. He'd be cool. His actual yeah, magic. He's got his trident. That would be interesting. Yeah, just you can only kill him with silver arrows. Oh wait. So um, so you know Vishra games, right? Mm -hmm. he, of course you know him. He did the legs, uh... Yeah, I showed you his, yeah, one of his me. newest videos was Legs, in which he made Ganon just have super long rubber kicks. Yeah. So he did, uh, he did a mod recently where, uh, where everybody had a 25% uh, chance of critting. Yeah. But he also did something I don't think I, we've ever talked about, a turbo mod. Okay. It's like uh, all the attacks are instant. No, no, a turb like, you can cancel a lot of the attacks. Oh. Damn. Well, at least, at least MP is not gonna be a problem. Like, do you do it, yeah. you can cancel any attack at any time? Yes. And so he, so he does tournaments where, like, the level 9 AI has access to it. And oh man, if we ever play, if we ever play, uh, Ultimate again, we gotta get that mod loaded, because that sounds like it'd be a frustratingly fun time. Yeah. I haven't really looked into ultimate modding, because I've heard it's significantly been harder than uh, Wii U. Nintendo yeah, cares I... more about the Switch than the Wii U. So, um, so they did a CB CPU tournament with level 9 uh, uh, turbo and crits, and it's just been 
watching through it, it's just been fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, amazingly enough, Bayonetta can't really kill. No, Bayonetta um, is considered pretty bad this game. Yeah, um, but, uh, but Little Mac, Little Mac in turbo mode, uh, with crits, is a fucking beast. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. I'm a cat. Dude, we missed it. We talked over a conversation earlier. Alone, the fairies can't do a whole lot, but together they have some of the most powerful magic of all. Ah, well. I'm sure that that'll be good. <laughs> Dracula Ganon. Now that, that sounds like you're just trying to get Dracula in the game. Dracula. Imagine Ganondorf put on the mask from JoJo. Because <laughs> that's what he needs. He needs to be a vampire. Ganondorf, you're a vampire now? Oh, yes, <laughs> Link. Yes. I am powerful now. I can only be harmed by the sun and holy magic, which, now that I think about it, is one more weakness than I previously had. Also, Maybe this I was a mistake. The... Also, I live in the desert. Um... This, this might have been a problem. I might not have thought this through. Dio lived in the desert. Oh yeah, he did. Shit. Uh, Corrin hates mushrooms. How do you like mushrooms, Judy? Not that tasty, apparently. Everyone hates the spider roll. Well, nobody likes sushi? What the fuck? Well, it's literally spider. Yeah. Ew, spiders. Alright, for real this time, though? Yep, for real. Hey, Lois! Embroidered gown. Oven mitts. Yeah, it looks like good for attacking. You can scratch up something with that. <laughs> Cut! See, see, he thought it was a stupid idea. He's like, wait. What am I, what am I doing? You know what, at least he gives the money back. It's not like you lose it. Oven mitts. Well, I guess it's better than the, the peasant outfit. <laughs> I'm a pretty princess. Why is Aunt Jemima on your team? That's Big Booty Judy. She's a beautiful Big woman and she has nothing to do with syrup. She's the greatest. Also, they're getting rid of Aunt Jemima as they a They are, mascot. yeah. So it's just gonna be anti syrup. Is it not? It's changing the name too. I knew they were getting rid know. of the image. Maybe. I can hear the voice of Osaka's heart. Save me! <laughs> Save I'm me! I'm bored in here. The cat is after me. Oh no! Or something. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, is that... Hick, hick, hick. Top kick? Oh, it's no. It's Osaka. Arachnosaka. Arachnosaka, <laughs> that actually works a lot. That works really well. Oh, no. What am I doing here? I'm sorry, guys. God damn it! What happened? I, just, I fired Corn out of the cannon again, and now he's mad. Oh, oh. he's pissy. We're so gonna win this. It's a big booty. Judy started with Town of Salem. Someone just had that as their name, and yeah. we thought it was a funny name. 
We later found out it was like the title of multiple rap songs. So th there are songs about the legendary Big Booty Judy. Yes, a, a woman with a very, uh, a very prestigious uh, hip area. Her, her. Oh. Some people, you know what? Some people's anaconda don't want none unless you got buns. Fun. She put those hips to use in wrestling. Didn't get very far, but. <laughs> And if you missed the previous episode, we ended up giving the the three fairy sisters just the three person the three leads of slice of life anime. Yes, it's Haruhi Osaka from Azumanga and uh, Lucky Star Konata. <laughs> oh, Man. I keep God damn it! You keep what? I keep giving keep myself the all the bonus EXP. You're free now. Heavens. Good heavens. What happened? The middle fab fairy. That was getting intolerable. I must save my sister, Konata. Will you please help? No. <laughs> You meanies! Don't be rude, Haruhi. No. Yeah, okay. Oh. Fine. I think, I think there are some games where if you answer no enough, it just gives you a bad end. Uh, they're, they're rare, but yeah. Golden Sun did that. Hope you or don't mind like... another companion. What is what can Osaka do? Just summon a gigantic cat? Oh, she's gonna see Corrin and be like, and be like, oh, kitty. It was the the Sakaki was the one who loved cats in uh, Azumanga. The, yeah, the, the no, I'm talking girl. about I'm talking about Osaka's dreams. Oh yeah, she, she dreamed of Chio's dad. Chio's dad was quote unquote. I have a cat. I have a cat's tongue. Why, yes, I am Chio's father. <laughs> Hello. It was like a plush that Chio had, right? Yeah. Bonk. Osaka's dreams were, were very weird. Want to buy this photo I took? Ah! Fine. Oh, is that blackmail? We have to give him money or else? I, I don't think so. When's the last time you've heard someone say good heavens in real life? I don't know that I ever have. Uh, never. This is, I thought, I thought that's, that's just a myth. It's not real. Got another fan. There's the protractor. Uh, what's our, what's our, oh, we don't have any tickets anyway. Yeah. Well, darn. Don't we'll get, get candy. Some. Yep, protractor fan. It's just literally a protractor. Math princess. Math duchess. I am math duchess. Best duchess. Alright, actual cat looking suit. Math duchess sounds like a fucking character from like the Phantom Tollbooth or some shit. The Phantom Tollbooth? It's a book. It's a, I watched the, like, it's also a movie. I watched a bit of it. This, uh, uh, this, this guy, this British dude is like, this British kid is having to find the princesses of rhyme and reason and like, it's a, it's a lot, it's complicated. Yeah. I don't know if I understand it myself. I guess that's fancy. <laughs> I, I look like a bab. Baby's, baby's tank. I Little have a fucking teddy tank. bear. Tankery is a feeling. It's not about the outside, it's about the inside. Well, no one's tasted the deluxe spider roll. Everyone's deluxe. reluctant to eat spider, but it's soon a family favorite. <laughs> no, it still doesn't, he still doesn't like it. I 
Wow, it's delicious. <laughs> You're gonna see if those spider rolls and Lena Inverse is gonna eat them and she's gonna love them. Zelrog's doing a lot of questionable things this game. Dressing like a... If you go back to my Awesome Knots days, or even Smash, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a reckless dude, so that's the, the tank is not that out of character. <laughs> there were many cases of me throwing an explosion into my allies by mistake. Yes. A lot of, uh, a lot of cries of, wrong! <laughs> What oh, fairy save. Thanks, Osaka. So, uh, what does Osaka do? She's uh, just... well, she fired an arrow, so I guess she... this one's an archer. The well, last one was an archer. Dancing arrow. Big booty Judy found a potion? Bottoms up. Yeah, drink it. Woohoo! Oh, she recovered something. I saw your worm stream, so I know. Was was I reckless in worms? So we gotta play worms again. Yeah. I remember game. trying to get the guys into it, but they didn't really want to try any of the more adventurous game modes. Oh, that's a shame. Scatter shot! Judy's too hyper to give a fuck. Got mushroom saute. Just a bunch of food nobody likes in this dungeon. I think someone Apparently, likes yeah. the mushrooms, just Judy didn't. Uh, Jack, what do I pull? Uh, right. I got banana. And the left one was probably better than... My apologies. Or it could have been a trap. You'll never know. Maybe maybe in alternate universe I would have said left. And we get them together for the Worms Rumble game. All the new Worms games are just the same. It's the same Worms game mode just rehashed over and over again. Like, Armageddon was interesting because you could play on any map and make all the different game modes for it. Yeah, the, the map importation ability was like a big draw for Worm, from, at least for me, with Worms. Well, that was the replay value. Without that, yeah. it's a pretty, you know, standard game. It gets old just playing the same normal matches over and over again. Yeah. With just the same kind of maps. <clears throat> uh, it's just a little... I guess we have to go back to town, then. Hello. Oh, it's the, it's the Eds. The fairy fans. My poor Lady Osaka! Uh. Lady Osaka, you're back! Osaka! Dappy dappy doodle dee. What's your scam this time, Eddie? Lady Konata! Something awful's happened to her. No, not Konata. Ed, just unlock Ultra Instinct, and then you too can save her. Ultra Instinct. So it's just the, the fairies, mean. the Eds, and a bunch of Eevee evolutions. Yes. Did you find Konata? You'd better take good care of Osaka. Uh, I guess we're going to big forest. Let's confirm. <laughs> we need more stuff here. Yeah, we need like four diamonds or something. Big forest. Oh, my name is Big Forest. Welcome to Forest World. Planning on moving to Graham soon, aka away from the mountains. Well, that's that's good. Is it like uh, so? You figure better infrastructure, better in internet? I don't know where Graham is at. 
Interesting you're moving during the quarantine, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So dark. I'm not sure I like it in here. We elves steer clear of this forest, too. But your sister's here? Them anime high school girls gotta stick together. Yes. Okay, anime high school girl dream team. Like, uh, just any of them, or like Slice of Life? Uh, Slice of Life. Well, the one, the like, the big ones off the top of my head are these three. There's Azumanga, Lucky Star, Haruhi. There's, uh, Kaon. Isn't there, I haven't seen Kaon. Isn't there, like, a recent one that's, to, uh, like, Nichi Suba or something? Konosuba? No. That's well, not I, I, No. Uh, it's a different series that is getting popular lately. There's also, I guess, if Yotsi accounts. She's not high school, but she's a slice of life character. Yotsi and... Yotsuba. Yotsuba. And... So Yotsuba... Somebody did a crossover with Yotsuba and Azumanga. It's like, hey, this is my cousin. Yeah? I guess because of how... Uh... Uh, is apparently adopted by her, uh, her father. I suppose- I think that's what the, the lore is. Hey, Mr. Bo, where are you originally from? Over there! Don't die, Corrin! Love Hina is more of a. That's more like a harem. Show. It's a harem series. Not a. Yeah, not a slice of life. Fruits basket, though. I guess. But, well, the anime is. The manga. It ends right when the manga would begin. Yeah. Which is a old choice for a series. Like, you could call it a male harem series. It's about a girl moving into an apartment that's full of a bunch of dudes. It's just obviously less on the nose than uh, something like Love Hina. Which me would you like to travel with? Mr. Oh, yeah, Hiroshi, Hiroshi Clamp. Here. Clamp. Hiroshi the Flower. Which oh, started yeah. with us joking about whoever the person who made the deal with Code Geass in Pizza Hut was. Yes. And, and, and then it just, the, we developed this character of the perfect, able-to-do-everything Japanese businessman. Yes. What, what is he? Is he laid back? No, he's hardworking. Is yes, he cool? So. Is he cautious? Cool under fire. But we already have cool. We already have all of them. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we? All right. He's their negotiator. He's their artist. He's the, top, he's the top businessman. He runs the numbers. He was a he was a businessman, but then he had a he suffered from burnout. He had, so he had an a epiphany. career change. He had career change, and he decided he was going to become a flower. And yes, people said, he's going to become one with nature. People said, "No, you can't be a flower. You, you're that's dumb." And. uh... And, but then, but then he's like, no, you're dumb, I'm gonna be a flower. They told me, they told me you could be anything you wanted, so I decided I was gonna be a flower. Oh, hey. He already wants to make up with him, again. Hey, I'm sorry <laughs> I shot you out of a cannon, again. Besties! <laughs> oh, he brought a present. Hey, this'll make up for it, right? How do you have a present? Hand it over. It's a cushion. Cats like cushions. This is amazing. Maybe likes. But Judy saw it all. Always Corrin. It's not fair. Oh. Uh, nuts. Kuroshi, please like spider rolls. We've got so many of them. Loves it! Yeah! Ugh. 
this good. Pop gob donuts. Yes. Oof. This good. Corin, you like donuts? What is this? Attack and magic? Okay, uh. Well, the princess is a support class, so. Yeah. Nope. Cats don't like, don't like donuts. donuts. The only person who would, who will eat spider rolls. Between spider rolls and nothing, Judy chose nothing. Oh, hey, there we go. A bomb. Looks straight out of Wind Waker. Bomb. Awesome. Sixty-one. What are the other attack stats? Like, that's got to be the highest, because he's the tank. I th I'm gonna guess Flower is also in a support class. A support class Flower. It's either a support class, or it's like the world's weirdest attack class. Collected five different types. Already? Wow. Shells and gowns. Well, it's time to see how this is gonna go. He would he would be in the forest. He just he decided to become a flower and he just went into the woods. Yeah, he subsisted only on water. How did he do it? Nothing's impossible for Kuroshi. Did Koran just be like, this is the end for me? Oh, they hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I saw that wow. coming. Turns out a flower isn't useful in combat. Well, I really want him to get some EXP. Sorry, Koran. Yeah. Uh, might be a little under leveled. You know, or maybe a little. Maybe you got one of them. Three. Yeah. We'll see what his abilities are when he levels up. Cord is just fucking dead. It's fine, he recovered. Oh, he still gets XP, that's good. Yeah. Oh, level up three! Gain two Attack, levels. Mech. Gentle Fragrance. Restore friends HP Floral Aroma. Okay, sure. Go for some healing. I don't think the princess can heal. She is not a... She's a support class, but not a healing class. Learn life, dude. Get a fallen friend to wake up and... Oh, it can oh, resurrect! <laughs> that's just in time. So... So his, his ability, he's just a healer. Look, look the way he walks. Yeah. I am a beautiful force of nature. Imagine if you're negotiating a big business deal, and your the guy you're negotiating with walks up dressed as a flower, and he's all serious about it. Is this a laughing matter? I can assure you, I am quite serious. A polka dot tank. I already have that. I thought I had that. Maybe I didn't. No, you don't. You fool. the uh, polka dot phase once again. Yeah. You think? Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Just, uh, working out? Let's forge ourselves into perfect weapons! Training time! What, what are they doing? They're just headbanging! Yeah, sure, I'd train with Corrin. Yeah, he's the, he's the greatest trainer. Uh, oh, life art you know actually I... does jack and shit. Because the greatest twist is that uh, yeah, the water is just you learning how to how to be better. I love spider rolls. Why don't you guys eat this? 
It's great. He's gonna be the fastest flower ever. <laughs> I'm flowering the flower. Uh, arrival. Oh, I don't think I checked if they wanted to buy anything. Oh well. Are you chasing the Dark Lord Ganondorf? That is correct. You're so brave. I need to be brave too. I need to be brave. I'll do it. We have Hank as one of the like royal pallbearers or whatever. Yeah. We don't have Peggy anywhere yet. Peggy Hill gonna get with Homer. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lois is with Homer. They're oh, the correctly so that, couple. And Peter's the, yeah, that's right. Lois and Homer. Alright, got some game tickets. Nice. Not over there yet. There's goblins and a banshee hole. Like a weevil, but a banshee, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna give Hiroshi some health. He's looking low. Hiroshi, you you need some healing? Yes. Cool. You are you are healed. God damn it, Hiroshi. Nature is beautiful, yet so fragile. New skill. Gentle fragrance. Let me waft this towards you. <laughs> oh, hey, that's actually pretty pleasant smelling. So Kuroshi, Kuroshi's been, uh, been selling essential oils. For his, uh, for his Facebook group. No. He, has to, he has to gather them from the forest. All we need now is a bit of banter. Oh, is this then... banter? Spooky stories. And then, then the car was left on the on. The she hook heard was a voice. The car door. <laughs> the voice creaking like a coffin lid said, "Hello, Link. Where is my face?" Where is my vulva? Excuse me? That's actually what somebody said in uh, in Cow and Chicken was that there was a they they were, they were at a campfire, Chicken and like his two friends and uh and he was telling uh the witch was crawling up the house and she's going, "Where is my vulva?" Okay. Yeah. That, that is extremely end, bold of them to reference female genitalia in Cow exactly. Chicken. <laughs> they got away with a lot of shit, Cow and Chicken. They banned the Carpet Munchers episode. That That's what they think they did get away with. Yeah. Uh, what's our arcade like? Black iron uh, fan. Nope, not HP. that. Not with that HP banana chance. <laughs> it's too high. Fine. Spend 200 gold so they'll ask for something else. Three HP bananas. Can I send them to buy a banana and they come back with clothing? No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. What is that? Magic. Hey, Kuroshi, you get something else. Kuroshi, you must... Who wants the tears? Magic up. Oh, uh, he doesn't like the tears. But you know who... A 
It's nice that they automatically equip everyone with their healing items just based on what you have in stock. Yeah. Makes healing items not totally be worthless because you don't have to manually, or time consume, rather. Bunch of treasure chests. Pajama cat suit. You got it. It's got like Mickey Mouse gloves. <laughs> it's black corn. Black corn. Evil corn. Cool. Oh Oh, just one of you, huh? Uh oh. What? Wait, is Evil Judy, Judy. Just Go, go, go back. He doesn't even fit in correctly because his head's too big. <laughs> I guess it's because his body is too small that it looks so weird. Eat. Oh, hey, you want a toy? You Am want, I ever going to get, like, a serious-looking tank? Not until you become... But that's only after you become a priest again, I, I imagine. That's good enough. Dry leaf. Eh. Hiroshi, guess what's for dinner? Guess what's for dinner? Spiral. Well, no one else is gonna have them. God, toy. Imagine you're like... You ever watch the movie Small Soldiers? Uh, the what? The movie Small Soldiers? I have not. So the movie's about like uh, about how they wanted uh, to create some like really super advanced smart toys. This is a '90s movie, by the way. Yeah. And uh, and so they're like, "Well, shit, uh, we need we need some really good microchips to do it." So then he's like, so then he, the guy who's in charge of the project decides, "Hey, let's get some military grade chips to, uh, to put in these toys." And the toys end up becoming like ultra smart, and they start attacking the neighborhood. And these are like G.I. Joe ripoffs. Yeah. And they're like, they behave like soldiers, and Tommy Lee Jones voices the lead one. You remember him, right? Uh, who's Tommy Lee Jones? Uh, he was, he's, if you ever watched Men in Black, he's, uh, he's K. Okay. He's the, he's the ultra serious dude in movies. I like I like watching I liked watching Tommy Lee Jones and stuff. I don't know if he's dead. He's probably not, but I like. So Ganondorf is up on an evil volcano mountain. Oh, cool! Is that where is that the final? Is that where the quest is gonna lead up? Oh, that sounded really intense. Oh, it's a gold golden snurp. snurp. Golden snurp derp. Uh, wild shot. Shoot can I choose cannon. who I fire? No. I can! You fire on your rush. Hmm. I wonder if the damage is relevant to their size. I could fire that booty. Fire the booty. It worked! Why oh, would you do that? It made it the most sense, Judy. Nice. A flower has reached level five. You are a you are a pretty flower.
Uh, cherry blossom. Oh, I want that. We're not gonna get it, though. Maybe Kuroshi wants to buy it. Puppet pepper. No. Damn it. Banshee tears magic up. Uh, that's not MP. I guess... I think the princess is a magic attacker. I think. She has her wind fan. Princess Kagura. <laughs> Princess Kagura, you know what you must do. Who has just been replaced in Inuyasha with what looks like a gender-swapped version of Kagura. <laughs> Byakuya! Of the dream. <laughs> Kagura of the Wind, Byaki of the Tree. It's just... It's just Kagura's brother. Kagura's cousin, Byakuya. Yeah. Kagura of the Wind. Got Is that... Kana of the Void. Byakuya of the Dream. Not Is to be... Ch what? Is that Joey? We want to know. That's Joey's cousin, Jesse. Which, which Yu-Gi-Oh was that? Was that GX? I, I think that was, uh... That was 5Ds. I want to say five Where the keys. dubbers just use the Joey Wheeler voice for a background character. That happened to look like Joey Wheeler, but with glasses and a facial tattoo. Nah, it's Jesse Wheeler! <laughs> Banana me trap. Banana someone, me- Someone gonna get eaten? Yeah, this is gonna be fetishy as hell. Oh, no, never mind. Vor, He's man. Dead. I could go for a few more rounds. Get, Get it? it. <laughs> Billiard ball. Oh, that's a projectile. Stronger than a bomb. Billiard ball. Stronger than a bomb. Because it's like... Imagine, you get hit with a bomb and it just explodes. You hit with a billiard ball. That, that's that got to really suck. It goes straight on through. We should agree on some rules for the room. We should not leave the room in a mess. Yes. We should not should drink any of the things. And we shouldn't paint the room. That's debatable. Well, it's an inn, so no, we shouldn't paint the room. But the room sucks, though. The he room is... The... Oh. The room's Dry not... leaf. What? what is... Is that a, the weapon? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping he would want the, uh... The cherry blossom outfit. Uh... Well, we'll ask. Oh, there's gonna be polka dotted version, isn't there? Black Iron Fan. Black uh, Princess Black Iron Fan. Grub Cheesecake. Give me that fan. There we go. You know, I'm suddenly reminded of, uh... Of that one episode of South Park where, uh... Bill Gibson was chasing after Stan and Kyle. Give me back my money. Yeah? No, it was Stan and Kyle. It was Stan and someone else. Uh... Stan and Kenny? Yeah. It was because they didn't like The Passion of the Christ and they wanted their money for the movie tickets back. Yeah. And he's like, give me back my money. Get some rare cheesecake. If we get the fan again, we can sell it, so... Everything yeah. except the MP candy is good. That's what we're getting! God dang it, Bobby! Bobby! Are 
It's statistically improbable. And yet it happened. Oh, hey, cool. It's only John. Gash. Wait, no, because you didn't separate them, did you? I did. Oh, okay, cool. There's no one to go with. Thousand cash. No, no MP candy. Come on, whammy. We're good. How much is the fan worth? Right, almost a thousand. Oh, comparable. More than it will cost us to get uh, weapon the, uh, to get equipment. There was nobody to go with. Nobody to go with. So, oh man! So I was thinking about the idea of like a Bowser uh, protagonist game, yeah. And it'd have to be somebody kidnapping his son and and him like trying to find his son, right? That would be that, a way to do it. Yes. That, well, what way do you think would be? I'm not sure you could come up with a few ways to do it, but that would yes, that would be one. Oh, it's cheesecake? She loves it. Who doesn't love cheesecake? It's very rare. Yeah, he likes it. Oh, some people don't like cheesecake. These uh, four do these four like it. I could use some cheesecake actually. You you make you're making me want some. There is shitty cheesecake though. Don't don't yeah. get Jack in the Box cheesecake. <laughs> Jack of the Box sells cheesecake? What the fuck? Yeah, it's one of their dessert options. It's just dry and crusty and fast food cheesecake. This is Dio, I believe. It's a forest growing inside my body. I thought potions were supposed to taste bitter and awful. This potion has a delightful flavor. I endorse it daily. I'm the roving gourmet, Dio. <laughs> I must share this bliss with you. Hey, Elven Potion. What is it? Is it food? I, I, I guess. Yeah, it's a food item. So, Alright. We gonna find oh. Konata? Konata! Please, we need to save you. Moss is so soft. Take the most of the moss. Okay, cool. Hope I get along with Osaka. We're from very different series. <laughs> Beautiful flowers. It's just a healer. I think the cleric had some attack magic. It seems like the flower is, like, all healing. All healing. He's a pacifist. The whitest of white mages. Osaka's clothes are so fashionable. Oh, those hobgoblins suck. <laughs> I saw well, that hobgoblin. coming. Well, I, if I ever encountered Hobgoblin, my, my, uh, my, like, immediate reaction would be, Oh, no! But those Hobgoblins, they just... They just kill everyone. What was the... The Spider-Man Hobgoblin? What was he in relation to, like, the Green Goblin? Um... He wasn't the sun. Good question. I don't know. I think it may have been unrelated. Let me check. 
the son was in Spider-Man 3, and he just took on the persona of the Green Goblin again. Alright, who is Hobgoblin? Oh my god, there are so many fucking Goblin characters. So there was uh, Norman Osborn, who was the Green Goblin, a.k.a. Iron Patriot, a.k.a. Goblin King, a.k.a. Red Goblin. Okay. He came back as the Red Goblin? I, I guess so. Then uh, then there's uh, Harry Osborn, who was Green Goblin number two, a.k.a. American Son number one. Okay. Then there was Green Goblin number three, a.k.a. Bart Hamilton. But why, though? Like, we were already doing this shit with heroes. Did we need to do it with villains, too? Green Goblin number five. Real name, real... Oh, an artificial human created by Norman Osborn. And the supervillain Dr. Angst as part of yet another attempt to destroy Spider-Man. And then there's the Green Goblin, I guess Green Goblin number four, a.k.a. Hobgoblin number six, a.k.a. Goblin Knight, a.k.a. Goblin King number two. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Ertz. <laughs> then, okay, Hobgoblin number one. Roderick Kingsley. A man stumbled upon one of... In, in the 1980s, a man stumbled upon one of Norman Osborn's old Green Goblin labs. He decided to modify the arsenal and take up a career as a new kind of goblin. The Hobgoblin. The identity of this man was kept a secret for several years. Tom the Fashion designer Roderick Kingsley. <laughs> so still just a knockoff Green Goblin. Fashion designer? <laughs> yeah, knockoff Green Goblin. And he Hobgoblin. came up with that. He's a fashion designer who came up with the Hobgoblin? I guess so. After a string of other Hobgoblins took his place or took the fall for him, Roderick eventually returned from retirement, killing the fourth Hobgoblin, Jason Mackendale, and sparked a growing rivalry with the also returned Norman Osborn. Kingsley retired again, but returned after he learned that his twin brother, Daniel, had been murdered by Phil Ulrich, a.k.a. You know, the, the other Green Goblin. Why do we need Spider-Man? Why do we need any other characters? This is a whole series of Green Goblins. We got enough of them. <laughs> just, just Goblin Wars. It's like Gargoyles, but call it Goblins. <laughs> <laughs> My Goblin Academia. MP and speed. Oh, Hiroshi didn't Roderick like the tea. Roderick revealed that he had been licensing out supervillain identities to criminals. When Ulrich defected to the Goblin Nation... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ulrich from Cody Cod Yoko's involved now? No, no, that's his name. Uh, that was the guy's name. Phil Ulrich was the was the uh, the other hob hobgoblin number seven. <laughs> the Goblin Nation. What the fuck? Kingsley challenged the original King Green Goblin to one final duel, sending his butler in his place as the Hobgoblin. He was recruited by Magneto to fight Red Onslaught, and following his inversion, took to licensing superhero identities. Okay. So he got inverted. Hobgoblin number two, Left Donovan. God damn it. Then there was the Proto Goblin, the Demo Goblin, the Grey Goblin, and mo just Monster. And the Demo Goblin is my favorite class in Team Goblin 2. I'll I remove the magic if you're going after the Dark Lord. We'll need all three sisters to remove the magic. Yeah, that's why finding Konata is important. This is taking a while! Where is she? Like, uh, I guess it's a barrier or something? Hey! Do we Konata. find Konata? Her face is gone. Where are we fighting? Ooh, ooh, Wark! I guess owl. I'm an owl now! No, that's, that's Osaka. Hey, I'm an owl. That's hey guys, what's up? 
Oh, there's also the film hobgoblins. Oh, by the way, Kuroshi got an attack spell. Oh, really? What's it called? Just Luster. Oh, uh, speed it. Wow, peck. Uh, cannonball. Uh, well, Judy's mad at me. Can't get any worse. The Goblin Family. <laughs> all these fucking, all these fucking super villain goblins. Burning Rage. Judy just can't let it go. Sulk. Wait, why is... What, did you shoot her again? I did. I, I, this seems like it could be a positive thing, though. Like, she's hitting harder. But why? Because she's bigger? Is that... Is that... No, like, she's... Because she's mad. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I kind of want to be friends with Kuroshi. So, Corin, you're next. Stop it! It's all wrong. Breaking friendships left and right. Bluster. Here we go. That was interesting. Leading Zelrog uh, astray. Leading Kuroshi astray. We're still in the middle of uh, Lucky Star. I guess we could finish that too. Yeah. Lucky Star is cool. This auto battle. Got him. Her. How? That was that was way too easy. That was easier than when you were fighting the hobgoblins. Thanks, darlings. <laughs> there are seven hobgoblins. <laughs> Which means that, hold on, let me- That's let me like having seven Waluigi's. It's a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff. Two, three, four. Oh, one of them was- Five. Oh, we got Five green goblins. We got special fairy music. I wondered what was gonna become of me. Ha ha. You want to head east? This just some rapsody fire music. Yeah. Huh? Thank you for helping us. Okay, bye. Later. Patchwork tank. What do we got? Nuts. Uh, defense and MP. Loves it. Hey, it's great. Yeah, it's good fertilizer, I guess. It's that always been, it. That's always been eaten in the forest is fruits and nuts. Yeah, he's going to taste for it. God. Uh, so, Spider-Man's Rogues Gallery is so big that on TV tropes, it's, uh, it's separated into like multiple sub pages. Yeah. Hey, we did it. We will we'll break the seal now. All right, here we go. We're gonna dance. Yeah, it's the lucky star dance. Well, two of these series have that in common. Azumanga's intro wasn't really a dance, it was just kind of an acid trip. <laughs> Magic! The 
First gate, open! Oh, hello. Thanks for opening the door, ladies. You've been a great help. Fools. Well, hmm, that was for nothing. Yep. Let's see you try that wimpy fairy magic now. Damn it. This is like a weird long JRPG. At least the whole world's problem probably not going to fall victim to a cataclysm and we lose access to half of it partway through the game. Yeah. Don't you love when that happens? Permanent missables. <laughs> Realm of the Fey East. Quit complaining. <laughs> we have bigger problems right now, guys. Oh, they're sad owls. Sad owls and snurps. She is pissed. She is seething. Yeah, no shit. Beautiful flowers. Calm down. Hiroshi, lend a hand. It's like if Kagome and Sango got all pissed off and they decided... They decided, fuck it, and they one-shot all the demons. Judy gave a half-hearted go. No, that time they were actually weakened. Go. Oh, hello. They call me the prodigious postman. It's DeVito. I have a letter address for Mr. Zelrog. Dear Zelrog. That would be you, yeah? Alright, see you later. Good food makes the good constitution. Heed this well, hero. Never change, King Peter. <laughs> Oh, he had this Peter sent it? That, I understand. But that. he didn't include any food with it. I'm not a happy puppy. You're a cat, Corrin. Hey, take a break. You've been playing too long. No, it, I haven't been playing long enough. Hey. I'm sorry. 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 Big booty Judy. I'm, I'm sorry. So Go sorry. away! I want to be friends again. I won't fire what? you out of a cannon again. Today. Not. I have to become a priest again so, so my darkness will be cured. Quarrel's over. That won't last. Zelrog is forgiven. Maple leaf, luxury, cactus juice. It's the quenchiest. <laughs> Got some nuts. High quality nuts. MP and defense. Stolen from the cache of a very angry squirrel. I guess we're going east to the tower. <laughs> Oh no, not the Eds! The elves for gold have all been... All oh, these poor souls were like this when we got here. He must have flown off after he had his fun. 
It's my duty as the eldest to clean up this mess. Are you with me, sweetie? <laughs> no. Sweet. Well, what if oh. I asked you really nicely? <laughs> well, okay, Osaka. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't let us down. Oh, I guess, okay, Osaka has been recruited. I mean, Konada. Konada, we, we need your help to restore your other... And then, the, then, then, uh... Osaka's gonna be have her face removed, and the whole cycle's gonna gonna start over again. There's Ed, just hanging out by the riverside. Are you two with him? Yep. Yep. They're all down there. So we're, it's a tri so it's a triple boss. Yeah, they're all. Well, I'm glad to see you're fine, angry one. Darn that stupid Dark Lord. Why'd he leave my face alone? Because he hates you. Things are pretty quiet in the retreat right now. <laughs> now I can sleep. Things are fine for now. Deep in the lotus flowers, Haruhi. I don't think we're gonna get to Dark Lord Ganondorf's tower today. That sounds like a next stream thing. That sounds like it's gonna be... I mean, we were getting close to the end and then suddenly... He showed up. Yeah, and ruined everything. Again. No, I wasn't even going to invade Hyrule originally. I really was being diplomatic about it. Alright, so what's the, what's the oldest fairy? So the Dark Lord was waiting for us. We really can't let our, dar our guard down. You think I'll be kicked out of the Fab Fairies? Yes. How cruel. Yes. <laughs> I let, you're so mean to them. That's okay. Osaka is the OG gamer waifu. She recognizes internet sarcasm. <laughs> you just told me that because you wanted to see what flag was triggered. Oh boy, more spider rolls for Kuroshi. Yeah. I love spider. What's this? Do we pull the lever, Kronk? Oh, great. A hidden path opened up. You rescued 500 people. Your HP sprinkles are better. Your HP sprinkles. All right, more sprinkles. I'm down. Now, 550 people. You will uh, apparently get another ability. Cool. Oh, we got a leaf and cat outfit. Do it. Wooly claws. Wool claws? What? You'd think they would arrange the the like the weapons and things in a way that they would get more threatening as they go on. Oh, it's it. <laughs> he came back with a banana, and he lost his ears in the process. Oh no! Kuroshi has become Canadian. Hey. You know that there bento underneath the, the sakura blossoms. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, a uh, cherry blossom there. It uh, fell into, into my bento. Consider that a good sign, eh? Write me a write me a haiku using all all, all the letters from A to Z. <laughs> all spider rolls all the time. Can you imagine if bleach took place in Canada? Oh, that there is a is a hollow. We gotta take it out. We got the the most Canadian anime. Oh, man. The only, oh. like, really Canadian thing I can recall ever seeing in animation was Brother Bear. And even then, it was only really the Mies. There are shows we've watched that were animated in Canada. Hey, you know what came from Canada? Shaolin Chronicles. <laughs> I gotta Top butter her up. Is an anime. <laughs> I gotta butter Judy up so that she'll fire from my cannon better. So, uh... You know, uh, that, uh, that Canadian cop in Dragon Ball, he's, a, he's an old favorite. Well, oh, gee, don't... I guess I could tell you where the brief's residence is. You're, you're a, you look like an upstanding kid. I just re remembered, you know who else is Canadian? Who? Wol Wolverine. Yeah? From X-Men. He's Canadian, he's also like... the most un-Canadian Canadian to Canadian. Corrin, no. Corrin vanished. I can see right through myself! Darn. That would have been useful if he'd stayed invisible. Imagine Vegeta had everyone on the ropes, and then suddenly his tail gets cut off by an unseen force. Okay, we have a butterfly Jolteon. <laughs> that's a, that's like awesome cool name. Dealing heavy damage. Oh. Roshi, no! All the sprinkles. Corrin butted in. Oh, she can heal. All right. Arrows and magic. That's the, f I guess, the fairy way. <laughs> Thought it was elves, but fairies are powerful, though. Oh, okay, great. You know what? Now that everyone's forgiven me. This seems like a great time to fire someone out of a cannon. Don't do it. New skill, defense. Four. Oh, so it's not passive. How much, oh, it's, uh, she's almost gone. Go down, butterfly. There it goes. You did it. Yikes. Uh, Kuroshi, catch up. Got butterfly honey. Fragrant tea. I, I know a certain person on this team who loves fragrance and loves tea. Yeah, give it to Kuroshi. Let's see what happens. Uh, banana, banana, tank. Outfit. Wooly cat suit. Nope. <laughs> Hey, 
Santa tank. God! Maybe, is it getting harder, or, or are you just getting lucky? Unlucky? It's probably influenced by how many HP bananas we have in stock, and we've been using a lot of them. Good deal! The negotiator at work! Sweet. We got butterfly honey, fragrant tea, magic, and MP. Sounds good. Butterfly honey, not so good. Not too, not so good. Well, that's one face. We gotta save the Eds. The Eds are waiting for us. The Eds, that's gonna be probably be three bosses or like a gauntlet boss. Probably a, just like all three at once. I expect it to be like a triple boss. Three bosses. That was awful. You saved us. Oh, more bananas. I've got some cowering in fear to catch up on. Okay. Interesting the character. That's fruit. Mouthy tomato. <laughs> it's, it's the annoying orange, but a tomato. Yes, kill it. Kill it hard. Apparently that's still ongoing. Like, the annoying orange YouTube channel is still making stuff. Annoying Use a orange. life Gotta force of flowers to greatly restore a friend's HP. Okay, greater heal. I don't- I just thought it was like, uh, I don't know, I thought it would end after they did got the Cartoon Network show, but I guess not. No, still doing it. Still being annoying, that orange. We've been chasing oh. the Dark Lord for ages! He must be quite experienced, then. You can count on you. hey -o. Spaghetti. <laughs> oh man, don't talk about food right now. Uh, gold or sweets? I guess we want gold. Go gold. Was that a threat? I'm on top of the world. We'll see. Hey, cool. 600. Now what? Oh, I'm in. All right. side again today. That's pretty cool over here. Up here, rather. Kroshi, you need to you need to be friends with Judy. It's very important. Uh, <laughs> cat and princess outfits. Wooly claws. Eh. Fighting will be bitter tea, jolly jaunt, fancy. No bananas. We got 14 bananas. We don't need no more bananas. Ho, ho, ho. 
celestial gown. Oh, that's nice. Ritzy. Looking. It looks like an actual gown. Yeah. Something fit for a princess. Ah, oh, the blue looks good. We got marshmallows, tomato spaghetti. You like spaghetti, Karoshi? Spaghetti, tomato. Yeah, it's good. Somebody touch my spaghetti! What doesn't he like? He's a he's a very open li like liking person. Oh, there you go. You gotta rescue the Eds. You did it. Want to know what makes Konata tick? That's the biggest tomato I've ever seen. Oh, hello. What why, the fuck? Why did they shrink? It was all a dream. It was all a dream. I want a cat. Wow. Corin. I'm right here. Dicks. I'm a cat. It's back. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Just Sorry. Away from I'm the screen. Ignore the twerky. Avert your eyes. I fired the- I fired Corrin at it. If you look at it, then- If you look at it, then- then you will turn into, like, your- your face will melt like in Indiana Jones. Fire a high-powered laser, zapping all enemies in its path. Sounds good to me. Oh, wow, we got here fast. Whoa! They're tomatoes. It's the Ed Tomatoes. Now, you know what? They're jawbreakers with growths. <laughs> oh, so it is one boss, just there's three of them. Uh, let's see. Laser is uh, like an all-enemy attack, so probably don't need to use that. At least it doesn't damage them. Ugh. So I don't think he can heal himself. Only allies. Delish! Oh, even th th its attack is not guaranteed to deal damage. Oh no, he can heal himself. Yes, so. Okay, she can heal too. L lots of healing. That's good. Healing, healing. Kuroshi just can't fucking. Oh, they're hitting hard though. Yeah. It's a shame that Kuroshi can't really. Go down, tomatoes. We saved them. Oh, Lady Kanata. Slash twice with sharp claws for double the ouchies. He's got to appeal to the kids. Dragon Ball Z got too mature. Left Corrin behind. <laughs> that is a weird example of one of the very, very few shows that has found success by, like, aging in real time. Yeah, it... it is, I think it was one of the first that did it, and... I can't think of any others that do it. Like, effectively. At all. Oh. Uh... You? Mm. I 
this bowl. No, nope, I don't. I can't. I love spaghetti. It's like I got some Italian in me. Spaghetti. I don't know where it comes from. It's just, it's in my soul. Spaghetti actually sounds right, really nice right now. Did you not eat before the stream? No, I ate. <laughs> Alright, everyone is at least level two with one another. So we saved all the eds and we saved, uh, is there anybody we're missing? Umbreon. Umbreon. Well, we gotta save Umbreon, then. No, not you. Double D is like the most built of the three. That's surprising. Genius cruiser. I'm saved, but more importantly, Lady Osaka's alive and well. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Alright, get some gold. Oh, yeah! To be saved by my Lady Konata. I think I can die happy. You must have helped, stranger. Somehow. Here, have this. Let's just leave this one like this. Eddie doesn't need a face. Yes, he does. He needs a face so we can, like, scan, uh, scan people still. Thank you for saving me. The Fab Fairies have such incredible power! You're no pushover yourself. Eddie is the least cheap of the three. You're very quiet today. Am I? I thought I was being alright. I thought I was being talkative. I'm just wondering, like, why, when, uh, Corrin eventually, uh... Like... I don't know. I... Yeah? I was thinking about Corrin and just how cute he is. Just amazingly enough, and despite because his Japanese voice was like more adorable than his American voice would sound, just oh, you so know. you're saying he's another another case of, of cute small thing voiced by old man in English? Yes, which also happened in Descendants of Darkness. Happened in Descendants of Darkness. There's a case of that in Dot Hack Roots. Oh, is there really a dot hack roots? I think. Actually, I don't remember if the there was like a little cute old man creature. And I don't remember if he sounded cutesy in Japanese or not. <laughs> is say a uh, Luna from Sailor Moon counts? Oh yeah, where they made her, she had her high voice <laughs> in uh, the original, and then in the original dub, she was like, oh, oh, Serena. I am, I am British. Hello. I can turn you into a magical sailor scout! Yes, I'm so cool. The road to the east is hidden by magic. Wouldn't want to get lost. <laughs> I actually have no idea what corn sounds like in Japanese. I never heard that. We heard Japanese popo. <laughs> a slime seems kind of underwhelming this late in the game. It's doing splash damage, though. Yeah, splash damage is always nice with uh, with wind and stuff. 
Wait, hold on, is that Luna? Uh, no, that's, uh, Umbreon. Not slimy, I see, but it's just, I'm like, wait, Luna? It does look similar. Yeah. Cute small Japanese things with, uh, symbols on their heads tend to. I knew a discussion earlier today about how there was a, there's a Pokemon in black and white, a mythical one, called, uh, Victini. Yeah. It, it looks more like a Digimon design than a Pokemon design. Just because, I don't know, there are a lot of Digimon designs as it goes on. They're just little cute things with things on their heads. What? He was, like, gonna try to give him, like, a, like, nice smell, but Korra's like, I don't need it. Rejected. Here's your reward, sweetie. Oh no, Kuroshi, Judy. Don't eat a banana heel. I heal you with the sprinkles. Almost there. You got him. What a breeze. Learned high T. Restore your and a friend's MP. Oh, okay. Oh, great. MP restoration. That's rare. Very. Alright, we got all the jewels. Apparently, uh, in the comics, Sonic's father is named Jules. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, no, I know the Jules. Jules and, uh, Bernadette? Mobian, motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> oh, man, Sonic's, Sonic's father is, is Samuel Jackson, but a Mobian? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me see a picture of him. I know, I know this because uh, Saucy was talking about uh, Scourge and that that whole story. Oh yeah, Scourge, Green Sonic. And <laughs> His name is just Jules Hedgehog. And apparently, the difference between the two and why why Scourge became evil is because like the the other world's Jules was so focused on leadership, like ruling ruling his his country or whatever, that he he ignored his son. Resulting in an evil Sonic. Gotta have a white, ch uh, pink cherry blossom. His relatives, uh, he has a brother called Sir Charles Hedgehog. And he got burned at Hedgehog. Oh man! You see a picture of Sir Charles Hedgehog? It's uh, I have amazing. not. Here, look. Uh, he looks like an old British scientist dude. Yes. Or an inventor. And he's a Mobian, which means he has the power of a Saiyan. Of course. They're, they're not just super strong, though. They're also, like, super smart, right? Because Tails... Yeah. Yeah. They can be if they, they need to be. Hey, cool, you're... Is the Elk Village fixed now? There we go. Stranger, my lady, cheers for everything you've done. For the mischievous witch. Alright, get us a potion. Now we just have to go save, uh, Haruhi. I keep wanting to say Tingle, because she's, like, small and green. <laughs> no, you don't want to save Tingle. I think in Vinny's playthrough it was Tingle. For the <laughs> smallest. Oh. Well, darn. Well, we're cultured, though, so... That's right, we, we make our characters anime. <laughs> 
bring confused friends back to their senses with a whistle call. Oh, so he's just a natural, he's just, all his skills are healing and then one wind attack. So he can do all sorts of healing and uh, the princess can restore MP. It's a decent support combination. I mean, we can't control them, but... Indeed. Uh-oh. What happened? Zalrog's in a nightmare. Uh-oh. Nightmare of Zalrog. Roshi powered through. <laughs> How did I do, darlings? It's just it's Konata, but characterized like rarity. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm out. <laughs> The oh, hey, they died quickly. The goblin army versus the turkey, the twerky militia. Don't fuck with the twerky militia. Twerky militia. Fuck it, twerkies. Every time I encounter him, like, why? Was that really necessary? I'll tell you who I like. I don't care. Bonding, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's, it, that's how it works. Sailor gown? Like a sailor suit? I guess. Are we gonna get who? Sailor Scout Judy? <laughs> In the name of the moon, I will punish you. A lady after my own heart. <laughs> Clearly, an effective weapon. Much magic in the pizza fan. The pizza fan, it, it just wafts a bunch of, uh, bunch of nice smelling pizza at you and you can't help but be hungry. It's like, uh, I've been watching old Joel streams and at one point he showed a video of, uh, it's just, it's supposed to be like a modern art thing and it's just a, a, a woman dancing on butter. What? Just, Dancing just on piles butter. of butter on the floor. That's dangerous. And she does, in fact, keep slipping and trying to no-sell it throughout the performance. <laughs> it is incredibly bizarre. <laughs> Oopsie! Nope, she, didn't happen. God. That's... Yeah, modern art is right. There was this uh, this uh, style of music called danger music. Yeah. And um, is it harmful to the ears? Um, it's harmful to uh, not to the ears, but to every part of the body if you're like listening to it because it involves people like breaking glass and at one point like a practice like a band who practices danger music they drove like uh, like a construction vehicle through the wall. And, uh, oh, wait, hey, uh, Steve Harvey's doing something. Let's, let's, Time uh, to play what... Silhouette Shenanigans. I have three questions for you. Who is this? That's Kenpachi. With his weird dreadlocks. Yeah. Dreadlock Kenpachi. Who is what this? Lena. Is that Lena or Zelrog? That's Lena. That's Lena. Hair's a little bit long. Well done! Question three. Uh, Stop Zalrog. dancing around! 
Why is Zellrock dancing around? Gotta make, gotta it, make hard. it harder. You did great. You beat me fair and square. Just MP candies. Okay. Oh, we have to go into the flower. But why though? Can't we just keep going right? <laughs> it's a magical hidden entrance to the east tower or whatever. Lotus Lake. It was like the Avatar spirit world. Are we gonna run into Zaheer? Oh man. A kind golem. Well, I don't want to beat him up then. <laughs> well, he do nothing. Well, if he beats you up, then it's gonna. Kind golem took the hit. Oh, he's, he's only kind to his friends. Yeah. Still, it's mean. Oh Whoops. no! Shot Judy. My bad. Tank is a very reckless class. Yep. Just shoot everywhere. Can't wait for you to be a cleric and then and then not be evil again anymore. Once you've saved the village, what will you do? I'm going after the Dark Lord Ganondorf. You're gonna leave then. Oh, hello. Are you proposing otherwise? I'll help you get there. That's a promise. Oh man, Sh shipping between Konata and Zelrog. Do what? Do what? Uh, cat paws, tank, stained glass leaf, huh? <laughs> the holy leaf? Stained glass leaf? What the fuck? Get some woolly claws. Yep. That's that was a long overdue. Is it gonna be? No, it's woolly. Of course, it tank. wouldn't look like an actual tank. Ho, ho, ho. Santa tank. Uh, who wants the golem steak? Once fired up, golems don't cool off easily. Oh, it's, it stays warm for longer. What, how do you not like? I guess it's rock. It's ro I'm eating rock. This is dumb. Find a dongo sirloin. Can't wait to. Wow, we only cook just got dongo. five claws. Yeah, corn, corn doesn't want uh, very much, I guess. We got three holes. This wait, game what? is a biohazard. What the? Dangerous biohazard. Don't welcome to the Lotus Lake. Don't fall in. It's a maze. Oh no. Maybe. I'm just gonna try to look for the fastest route. I'm not. Don't want to dawdle here. Ross Scott uh, is is turning over in his bed right now. Here, maze. Did you say maze? Well, that game was fun. <laughs> Speaking of bad games, this just thought occurs out of nowhere. Did you think there are Cheetah Man speedruns? I don't know. Let's go to. Let's, I'm gonna go to speedrun.com and find out. Actually, isn't the game actually incompletable? Like, there's a bug that makes it so you can't get past a certain level, and they just no one bothered to play it and see that. I believe you were correct. I think the game ends at a certain point, but. I'm going to check. But maybe, with glitches, you can progress past that point. It's a gold snarp! Uh... Alright. Oh, attack, don't eat a candy. 
Oh, Cheetah Man 2? Uh, There's a has... Cheetah Man 2? <laughs> you didn't know! <laughs> I did not, no. It was not released. Uh, and it wasn't released in 1992, according to... No, I, I knew about that. Okay. Uh, looking... Action... 52. Or NES. Uh, ROM type Rev A. It says there's no category. It's oh no, che Cheetah Man. Yeah, there's like multiple categories. It's all Cheetah Man. It's, uh, there's no, multiple can... categories for Cheetah Men specifically. No, sorry. There's multiple cat ca categories, and one of them's Cheetah Men, and, and there's like. Alfred in the Fetic. What are the others? Did someone do a speedrun of the shitty Castlevania game? Uh, I, I suppose. Um, uh, Cheetah Man. Uh, it has it has a lot of speedrunners. Six. That is a lot for Cheetah Man. <laughs> so we have Ninja Assault one, Jigsaw one, Time Warp Pickers one. Wait, it's all the same, dude. <laughs> Hey, Judy. <laughs> Sorry. What if she says no? Did I want to be friends no? again. You're too easily forgiven <laughs> for shooting people out of a fucking cannon. Billy Bob, Mash Me, Sombr Sombrero, Evil Empire. Wait, so there's two Cheetah Man categories. There's Cheetah Man, and then there's Cheetah Man Billy Bob Warp. And Cheetah Man Billy Bob Warp has no runs. Okay. Yeah. Figure I that wonder what the out. infamous Billy Bob Warp is. Uh, by the way, the world record for Cheetah Man is 2 minutes 50 seconds. Okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> so, um, so this game is apparently very glitchy because if you, so what you have to do is you have to drop down a, down a pipe, down like a random pit, which sends you to level nine, and then you go right and it sends you to level ten, and level ten is glitchy as fuck, right? Yeah. And you fight the boss. <laughs> And then after you beat the boss, you know the game is over because it warps you straight to the title screen of the game. And that marks the end of the speed run. Yes. Now let's see. Cheetah Man 2, the world record is 3 minutes 58 seconds. Did you get an HP banana? Uh, yeah, for the th third one. You're so there's like a mod world. online, or a ROM online. For Cheetah oh, Man Cheetah 2. Man. Yes, for NES. Three minutes. So, uh, so in Cheetah Man 2, yeah, the final boss appears to be this short little dude, and you beat him, and it says game over. Always a rewarding way to finish a game. <laughs> I will say, though, that Cheetah Man uh, it has, has uh, a fans because it's got one of the most banger soundtracks ever uh, produced for the NES. Have you heard it? I am familiar with the Cheetah Man theme. Yeah. Isn't that the only song in the game, though? Yes. Yeah, well, no, except for the intro, uh, where it plays a slight, uh, a different song.
Which way? Uh, down, I guess. Down, yeah. down, down. Here at Down Co. Cheat him in. Oh, somebody made a metal remix of it. There's a metal remix of everything. Wow. Despite his being in a feud with Zalrog, Kuroshi still stepped in to protect him. What a noble the, soul. Well, he is the flower. Flowers don't have grudges. But by, by the way, there's a Sega Genesis version of Cheetah Man as well. Oh yeah? I assume it looks exactly the same. Uh... N no. No? Um... It looks- it looks slightly better. Oh god, Sworky! At least they die quickly. Yeah. Meanwhile, just fighting tornadoes with faces. Tornadoes with faces. Wow, Kuroshi's pissed. I've never seen him that angry. <laughs> He's you, you, It's drunk Kuroshi. Kuroshi Wait, cheered up. Look how cheerful he is. So cheerful. These seem like the most annoying kind of enemy. Low attack, high defense. Some MP restoration. Don't need it. I'm stubborn. Oh. Oh, sweet fragrance. That beautiful flowers. Whoa. Hey, they're in a feud. He still healed them. What a bizarre trait for the for stubborn. Now, nah, fuck you. Don't heal me. Don't I'm patronize me. Tornado Lemonade? What? Corn will only be healed by Senzu Beans. Judy. Where's Big Booty Judy? And she's left behind. But Judy, we needed you for this twerky. Oh man. Hiroshi, you the, please. What? You ever see the YouTube video The Proper Way to End Your Film? Uh, no, I have not. It's 23 seconds long. I, I'll, I'll link it to you. Maybe you could play it on stream if you're feeling up for, like, something random. It's, uh, not as easy to do as it sounds. Uh, oh well. You wanna like describe the video? So so the video is the main character of the film is learning on the ground, right? And so he reaches uh, he had a gun to the left of him, but he can't use it for whatever reason. So he reaches over to like uh he reaches over to grab a, a, a backup piece from his uh from and it mounted on his wrist, right? Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna I wanna I, I want to, like, get a screenshot of a specific moment. Give me a second. Um, but yeah, so he, so he's reaching for, for the, for the wrist piece, right? And the villain is, like, holding a gun. He's about to shoot him. And, uh, and so, so then he reaches over and, he, like, finds his piece. And then he, uh, and so he, he like, goes to shoot him. But it's not, like, a, a regular gun, right? It's actually, like, a handheld rocket launcher. Yeah. So he fires it, fires it right, and then it strikes the dude, and the dude just <laughs> the dude then it dramatically explodes. Okay. And, so end your movie and, with an explosion? No, no, that that's the the movie then ends with with this 
with this text crawl where it says, Mike Collins, age 45, gave himself up to the authorities after the incident. He is now serving a life sentence. For, it's immediate... for killing the bad guy? I guess so, yeah. <clears throat> like, imagine... Imagine if, like, uh, Luke Skywalker is doing the trench run down the Death Star, right? And he fires the photon torpedoes and he hits the Death Star. And then it, it, he goes, the Death Star explodes. And afterwards it says, Luke Skywalker, age 23, gave himself up to the Empire after the incident. He is now serving a life sentence. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he gets weird. tried for, the, for war crimes. <clears throat> Right for war time crimes indeed, but you know you know what's great about about that though is that is that there's no capitalization at all. Yeah. Mark Collins is not capitalized. It's just a bunch of commas and and there's a period and then he is now serving a life sentence and that's not capitalized for some reason. Yeah. It's the internet it's like, man. No one needs capitalization. And I and then people are like, I guess he ran out of budget. Hey, you've got the sailor gown. Alright, what's it look like? It, it is indeed a sailor suit. Got, nice. Gotta go blue. Blue. Oh my, I do declare. Leotard cat suit. <laughs> and banana? Nope. Leotard cat suit. Meow meow. Zellrock hates lemonade. For some reason. What would be a what would be like the anime equivalent of that though? Just I'm trying to think of like something suitably brutal and then smash cut to hmm. Like the hero takes out the bad guy but still has to no, or just, just like, for that would be the most hilarious. Is just the, and gave himself up to the authorities after the incident. Serve now serving a life sentence. Uh, I'm trying oh. to think of that happening in, in an anime. Oh, I got it. Like Goku, like fires the blast up and hits Frieza, and then then, then Namek explodes. Goku, age whatever, gave himself up to the authorities after the incident. The closest I can think of is like Full Metal Alchemist, because that the original series had a very bittersweet ending, with yeah, you know just... prices still had to be paid, and people didn't like that. Yeah, well, I guess this is go by goodbye, Edward Elric. Haruhi, where are you, darling? Haruhi, aged age seventeen, gave herself up to the authorities after the incident. She's now serving a life sentence. <laughs> after. Oh, she looks pissed. Make it stop! Make it stop! Oh no! It's a catfish frog. Catfish frog, I hope that's what it's called. Haruhi, Haruhi. frog. Haruhi. Make it stop. It's the it's just the dude from Dragon Ball GT. Yep. Touched by praise. I'll try the laser. <laughs> Fire photon torpedoes. 31. You got him. That's normal Good attack job. damage, though. That's a lot of... That's a lot of MP for a... a Splash attack. It's a laser. It's gonna require a lot of power for concentrated 
it's only really useful with a like full spread of enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just float over there? He doesn't like walk. He just T poses and put hovers. It's the deadly T pose. No, he's pissed again. Ah, we'll be fine. Sorry. Bad breath. Uh oh. Kuroshi, fix this. He healed himself. You're the only one who can save us, Sailor Judy. <laughs> oh, somebody did did make a reference to that in the comments of the video. Damn it, explode. Frieza, age 45, gave himself up to the authorities after the incident. But he I was the bad is... guy, so that doesn't really work. Yeah, I think because people are confused as to who Mark Collins is, but I know that Mark Collins was the dude who shot him, not the dude who got shot. Wait, what? So Mark Collins was the villain? No, Mark Collins was the dude who fired the, the one on the ground the rocket and blew the other guy down. And then turned himself into the authorities. Is that the guy who got blown up? Like, the, the implication of the scene was that the guy who got blown up was the villain of the movie. Yes. Oh, wow, you gained, like, so many levels. Good Baby job. food. Baby food. Oh boy. What? Oh no. That's Robocop fuel. Oh dear. Haruhi's face is gone and floated away. Really? Oh, it's gone back to the retreat. Oh, you're right. All thanks to you, darling. Daddy. Make the uh, make the three fab fairies. Lum, Kagome, and Akane. Pew. I'm good without that one. Corrin's hatred slightly decreased. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm going I'm to do gonna... an oppression of Zelrog. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Ah, oh, that's so good! Cat paws. Don't got any tickets. Heart claws, the rouge, the bat weapons. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. What if, what if there was a pair of claws that were like Christmas themed, and they would be called Santa Claus? Frog juice, the secret to an authentic frog song is a bottle of this stuff. What happens if you drink frog juice? Baby food, easy to eat, with a mild flavor and small veggie chunks, too. Flavor? <laughs> flavor is all right. It's, I said flavor. You said flavor. Oh, whatever. It is pronounced flavor. Ho, ho, ho. All right, back to elf land. We are done. We f we saved elf land. Sorry, fairy land. No elves here. It's weird in Ocarina how like uh, Hy Hylians are basically elves, but then you've got the Kikiri, 
who are also they're more elf. They're 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 wood elves. Elves times the, two. The Hylians are high are high elves. Then the, the Gerudo are dark elves. About time. Harvey is the key to all this. Yes. You did a good job too, sunshine. That's everybody that needed rescuing. Yeah, we saved it, finally. That's the end of my little trip. Your journey is far from over. We made a progress. A pr promise. A flopper. We've made a... <laughs> hey. Alright, let's dance. Gotta do it again. Very important. <laughs> the shameful face on Osaka's face. Just... Oh. She's oh. just kind of... She's doing the motions. She looks so weary. Oh, great. Everybody's dancing. What is this weird Every spell? I don't like it. <laughs> Never again. We have opened the hidden path. Cool. Awesome. Give that Dark Lord a whooping. And let me know yes. if you find any espers. <laughs> That's not a class. I don't think. Esper. Oh, it's man. a Psychic Me class. Psychic powers are ki kind of fell by the wayside in modern day. Yeah, they were, a, they were a trend for a little while in Japan and otherwise. Earthbound ha having, like, psychic powers. Uh, it does it seem like a good place to call it? Yeah, we're gonna fight the Dark Lord next time. It's gonna be great. I think the next area is the Dark Lord's Tower is where we're headed. Yes, and then is the game over after that, or...? Is there more game? Uh, well, I can't imagine there being more game after the Dark Lord. <laughs> there is a post game. All right. Well, that'll be interesting. Uh, so that's that's it for today. We got we got yep. the whole elf area, sorry, elf fairy area done. Fairy elves. They're insane. archers, though. Come on, they're like elves. But they, yeah, they fight. Yeah, they're basically it's elves and fairies, and they're interchangeable. Talked about uh, Tenkaichi too. I wanted to do soon. And other games we're playing, like Odyssey and Jack. Expect next weekend. Uh, Castlevania planned tomorrow, right? Yep. I'm gonna play Castlevania with Darian. It's gonna be great. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you yep. next time. See you next time.